Sales, uh, both trim, must, uh, must and sail combination. As I said before, this is the engine for, uh, for an ice boat and uh, it doesn't matter how good your runners are, uh, if this, uh, the engine is not properly set and you don't have enough, uh, I mean, horsepowers, uh, you won't be able to, to win, to, to win a regatta or compete in the top, in the top 10. question now a two sale program or a free sales program for whom uh, we at uh, 1D sign makers uh, we have developed a, a two sale program uh, because the reason is very simple if you go to compete at the worlds at the europeans you are allowed only to use two two sales definitely you can you can come to the regatta with four sails uh, with different type and then uh, looking at the weather forecast uh, you can choose two or three but at the moment uh, I think in the last years we, we actually everybody everybody just did see that the uh, weather is changing uh, a lot it is very important to have a kind uh, of safe safe all around uh, a program which is going to cover a whole range uh, of the wind and, and uh, ice uh, conditions with a very nice uh, overlapping range which is going to make the uh, I mean the change or the, the, the choice the choice for the sale very easy so I would say uh, two sales uh, for uh, uh, not for beginners but as well for for the more advanced sailors uh, our our sale program it is quite uh, well developed and uh, we actually I ever doesn't matter who call me we just say okay you go with power gold and you just go with the uh, f-speed and uh, you will be just just happy with it definitely there are another brands uh, um, uh, another sales fame makers they 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 based on free sale program which is definitely uh, as well very good and uh, the I mean all sales are quite uh, I mean, they are not on the same level, but um, they could. But then we just come further to the uh, further question: How important are buttons uh, in the sail? And uh, I say yes, they are very important. But uh, the buttons uh, uh, they can give you another 10 or 15 percent of the edge of the of the speed, and. Uh, Important is the shape of the sail. I play in general. Uh, what I do, uh, I play a little bit or um, a little bit actually with the with the top buttons because the the top of the sail uh, sometimes you need more power in the sail and then uh, sometimes you need a stiffer button in, in once you want to get rid of the unnecessary shape in the sail. So the buttons are quite important and uh, it is worth to take with you at least uh, one or two uh, uh, top buttons with the different stiffness and uh, now the question is how can i set up the boat uh, properly i mean in this uh, in the range that i will be uh, going fast and uh, I think it's again. It all depends on the on the, on the, on, the, on the band of the characteristic of the mast band, characteristic of the runner plank band, and of your weight. But uh, I think in the last last years we did see kind of development of the equipment, and we all know that the equipment is the, doesn't matter who built the uh, the rig, who built uh, who built the uh, sails or who built the runner planks. You we already have a most of the sailors they have a similar uh, equipment and uh, what I would suggest uh, to everybody I mean uh, this is uh, the numbers what I tell you now uh, this they, they are based on my on my on my experience and this is the way how I trim or and how I, how I change the, the trim of the of the boat um, in, accordingly to changing conditions definitely there are 
and other sailors they have uh, I mean another way of of doing it but uh, probably this is as well uh, good but uh, I tell you this is what I do and uh, in general in general if I come to the regatta you know then then first of all if you just uh, you can do it uh, definitely in the, on the on the, not on the ice but on the, in the, in your workshop when you just uh, put your uh, put your boat on the ground or on the floor make and then you just put the rake on the mast and you got to you have to measure you have to measure the rake in the degrees and uh, the way I use I do it you know you just uh, I have the rake from 74 degrees this is the 74 degrees is the most um, the more the most upright and I go down to 72 degrees once I want to uh, depower my sail once the breeze is picking up so uh, let's say 74 degrees and down to 72 degrees that's are my numbers I play with since many many years and they work fine for me and uh, then what you the tool you have the very important tool you have this is the mass step position so if you if you wanna if you wanna have your mast um, bending more you just uh, move your mast step on the deck to the front and then you just go with the more upright up to the 74 degrees then you're gonna have more lively boat the mass will be bending easier and uh, it, it's gonna be easier but once there is more breeze and uh, you want to depower the boat and make the uh, keep the control keep keep the control of the, the bend of the mast uh, what I do I move the mast step aft and then I go with more rake down to 72 degrees and then uh, important another thing is that that's the distance the shooting shooting distance uh, for the for the main sheet and uh, this is this is uh, differently from um, I mean from from uh, from from sail to sail or uh, differently from uh, uh, depending on the on the weight of the on the weight of the of the uh, sailor but uh, we have experience that um, Using using our our power gold sail doesn't matter if the rake is uh, the rake is 74 degrees or 73 degrees the shooting angle uh, should the shoot, shooting distance should be like 28 uh, 29 cm and no more because uh, it is not going to be good and if you do less you're not going to create enough power in the sail what what uh, what does it mean 28 uh, cm this is not the distance from the boom. To the deck of the boat this is the distance if you take the the upper block upper block of the main sheet and you just go to the upper 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 part of the block and then you have the lower block and you just go to the lower block that's the distance which shooting shooting distances from the upper position of the upper block to the lower position of the lower block this is what you just pull together and uh, this is what you have to understand because as i said some guys they come to my boat and they just measure the distance from from the deck to the boom and uh, we have a different way of uh, different size of the blocks we have a different different uh, different way of uh, the, the fittings on the deck are different as well so it is not relevant and not not uh, accurate and uh, yes, uh, this uh, that's our uh, that's our these uh, two, two 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 measurements, and uh, you should start uh, with the base. And uh, again, it's gonna be all depending on the flexibility of your mast and of your runner plank. Uh, if you have a soft mast, or then, then, then you have to make sure that your, you check your the bend, uh, the, the the bend of the of your runner plank, and uh, very it is it is the runner plank. The stiffer the runner plank is, the runner plank will make the mast bending more. 
So if you feel that your, your, your rig is too soft and you can't get it under control um, and you are worried about breaking it, or you just bend so much that you just uh, lose the shape in the sail, please uh, check your, the bend of the runner plank. How we do it? Everybody knows it actually. You just jump on the plank and you measure the difference. Uh, you, you measure the, the bending, the, 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 you, you measure uh, the plank once you stay, uh, you're just on the plank and then you relieve the plank and you see the difference. And I think the number here for the modern built plank, I say this is the plank with, which is built with, 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 with glass and should be like uh, 32 down to 46 millimeters. If the plank bends just 38, it's going to be very difficult for you to keep control uh, over, you know, over your rig uh, in the strong breeze. Even you just move your mast step all the way aft and you just add more, more rake. It is quite, maybe it sounds complicated, but uh, if you just maybe try to simulate this, uh, the setups, um, you know, uh, on the ice or in your workshop or just outside, once the, before you go on the ice, then you, then you, then you're going to see, you know, going to learn more about it, about, you're going to learn about uh, the possibilities, how, what to do in, the, in, in, in specific conditions. Yeah, now, we come to the mass because mass and sail, it is uh, as a combination. We always we used to say, "Oh, this sail looks good on on my mass on this mass," and otherwise they say, "No, this sail is not good." And uh, we we often forget that that uh, the bend characteristic of the mast is is already you know important, and what we have discovered lately that uh, many uh, mass builders, they, they, they actually have forgotten uh, to, keep, to, keep, uh, <laughs> to keep the balance or the percentage in the sideways bend to four and a half bend. And what I want to say here that the, the, the new rebuilt mass in the last two years, three years, they are much softer in four and a half bend. And uh, what does it mean? In, 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 uh, in reality. In reality, this means that if the mast is too soft in four and a half bend, even the deeper sail will be looking very, very flat. So, uh, I, I, we, we, we as side workers, we're trying to adapt a little bit to the new mast, but we don't wanna, we don't wanna change it too much. Uh, our shape of the sails because we know that this is the uh, where is the limits of the of the maximum laugh, laugh curve for for every sail and uh, yeah uh, how can I control this uh, it is very difficult to to control the fore and aft bend but definitely you know with giving more rake and 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 uh, putting uh, putting the, the the blocks about uh, putting on you know, trying to avoid putting a tension on uh, on the boom pushing the mast uh, this is this is the key but i think uh, it is it is very difficult task at the moment and as i said before you can have a you can have a good sales and then suddenly you change the mast and you look at them and you say man this is different sale now but uh, yes then you have to play around with it so it's all about testing. So the question was, is mass bend characteristic important for the sail? I say, yes, it is. And on the other hand, some masts are very stiff, fore and aft, and they bending sideways more. So what you, the result of this is that uh, you go sailing, you accelerate, the mast is bending sideways, but it's not bending forward. So the shape of the sail, it's not going flatter, it remains the same. So you, you're gonna achieve, you will be fast in the acceleration, but once, once it will be puffy and, uh, and, and the mass supposed to break, uh, break um, the bend to the front and pull out the unnecessary shape, which is actually slowing you down, is not doing this and the, the, sh the sail remain deep.
and you will be going quite fast, uh, quite, quite slow, so please do not wonder if this is going to happen. Then we have to again to maybe to recut, to recut the sail, which means you have to just have a less laugh curve. And, uh, you know, because all the mass, we can complain about the mass builders because they're doing a great job trying to supply the, the best uh, mass uh, they can produce for us. And uh, suddenly, you know, we, we realize that you have to work and you buy a standard sale, but small tweaking around, playing with the laugh curve and fitting the sail into your mast band, it is kind of crucial. And uh, you might be lucky sometimes to have uh, this uh, setup very nice, but uh, it is always worth to, to play around a little bit. And uh, coming back to the sails, Again, uh, you know, the, it can't be, you can't use, uh, I mean, the shape of the sail can't be the same for a guy who, with a weight of 90, 95 kilograms, or with the, uh, for the guy who weighed only 65 kilograms or 70 kilograms. So, you know, let's say, okay, I have a power gold, and uh, what's this, you know? Uh, we decide. We decided to 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 build actually now uh, two types of, of. I mean, changing changing the shape of the sails according to the weight of the sails. So if somebody uh, order a new sail, the first question of me is what kind of mass you use and what is your weight, and then we can just tweak around a little with the shape. And for guys, they are lighter. We just supply him a little bit flatter sail, and. Uh, which makes him actually more comfortable and if the guy is heavy, he receives a little bit deeper sail which gives him enough power in the lighter conditions. So this is all about... Uh, 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 it's showing you how complicated is this task, but it is, it is worth to, to take care because I said this is the engine. This is the engine of your ice boat and, and you, need, you need to have this engine uh, you know, producing the maximum ma maximum number of horsepowers, uh, and and not just uh, you know um, having a mast and sail. Uh, the next then the, the next question is uh, yeah if the sail cloth specifics was changed, uh, what uh, would be a benefit to the class? Uh, this is a discussion you can. You can you can you can have actually a very evening, and uh, you can have a, you know so, uh, as many opinions as you have a, a, a number of guys involved in the discussion. And I always think that uh, our our specs uh, uh, are are extremely uh, how you say not practical or so uh, are far away from the reality. And uh, having a more, 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 uh, I mean, the wider range of of sailcloth available would would be a better, it would be a better uh, uh, and easy for us sailmaker to 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 build a, a normal sails. And uh, yes, this is the option I'm, I would I would go for it, especially that. Uh, there are not, not not many other classes they use this this the this sailcloth. So we have a two uh, two producers of the sailcloth at the moment, and uh, we can always say that they built this this sail 6.5 uh, uh, only only for us. So you know this long long delivery times they are. Uh, the cloth is expensive, and uh, we have to take we have to take uh, what they produce. We we don't have uh, we don't have many uh, a big influence on the on the on the quality. So we ca we cannot send them back uh, say cloth which is probably not uh, in the quality we would like to have. But we have to take it. Otherwise, they're gonna stop producing this for us and say yes. That's it. So more, uh, more, uh, more options. I would say would would definitely make uh, better options for for sign makers and easy job for sign makers. And uh, I am um, very pleased that I speak about uh, eye sailing 
about uh, the technical uh, issues and about another stuff which seems to be uh, quite uh, complicated and, uh, and, and, and uh, not easy. I mean, it took me many, many, many years to understand how the iceboat works and what is important, what is less important. But uh, at the end, you know, we are so, such privilege uh, and, and uh, we are in the sport which is, I would say, the most complicated sailing sport uh, uh, at the moment uh, on the earth. Maybe the new cupboards are more complicated, but we are <laughs> in the very economic uh, numbers here. So, 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 if you have any question, guys, uh, I think I always, uh, I am always happy to, 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 to help you or to explain some issues. And if you see me on the ice uh, and uh, or during the regatta, please feel free and come to me, and I will try to, to explain you how. Uh, how this is worth, how I understand it. And it doesn't matter if you use another sales or, you know, not our brand 1D. <laughs> this, this is not important. I, I try to help everyone. Uh, first of all, I, I would like to thank you, Tom Zakrzewski, that he, he, he came here to me and he introduced me to this, to this program. And, uh, uh, he's doing a great job for, for, for all our ice water uh, community. Thank you, Tomek.